Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Globalist agribusiness Syngenta fights back against the EU Financial transaction tax divides Europe and angers bankers The EU strikes back at Russia on ban on German meat imports European Commission states deadline for 4G readiness has passed Plus, watch out with more legislation for businesses via corporate social responsibility. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. I reported a few weeks ago that the EU had become deeply concerned about bee population drops and that they feared there might be a relationship with certain herbicides. Well, Syngenta, the global agrochemical business, has hit back with a PR statement of its own. This article carries the full details. Taking a position on this, we know that there must be something wrong when you have newly developed businesses whose job is to bring captive reared bees into growing zones and deploy them to pollinate crops. Google commercial pollination bees for more information. Well, it appears that it's not over yet. The controversial Toby tax, which David Cameron fought to protect the City of London from, is back on the table, and this time it's got teeth. As I have been reporting, the EU has got the hammer down, particularly where finance and fiscal challenges are faced. The desire to create a federal United States of Europe is absolute, and there can be no economic unity without first having unified fiscal responsibility. Each of these pieces of legislation look disruptive on their own, but when you take them together, this really is the base economic platform being put in place that will support the emergence of the EU superstate. This article is a more in-depth look at the financial transaction tax and how its implications are even stirring the hackles of big global players like the US. More disruption to commodity markets as Russia has introduced a ban on German meat products. The EU has filed an official complaint with the World Trade Organization and has demanded that Russia remove the import ban immediately. So what's going on with all this food production news? You are seeing the early symptoms of economic inflation as baseline commodity prices increase which comes as a result of all the money printing this is catalyzed by the poor harvests of the last three years what primary commodity distributors are doing is reducing quality in an effort to absorb cost increases however many believe that this is the beginning of a strong upward trend for inflation Recent licensing in the UK of next generation mobile networks, long term evolution or LTE, otherwise known as 4G, has seen the beginning of early market development for this latest hyper fast mobile network technology. The EU is unhappy, however, as the deadline for the frequency clearance has passed and yet almost 20 of the 27 member states have not made provision for this technology to be rolled out. This article has the details. News on the way for business owners. In our pipeline section, one of our research team has dug up this report on corporate social responsibility. This article looks at several provisions of legislation being requested for businesses to take greater social responsibility. Given the deeply depressed economic markets, growing inflation and businesses closing their doors in a tirade, no doubt this will come as delightful news for the business community. Of course, we'll keep a watchful eye on the EU Commission's scribes and bring you the legislation details on this channel. Today in our video library, Eric's Analysis Episode 7, The Fear and Propaganda Games. Dr Eric Edmund considers the sleight of hand, press rhetoric and fear, uncertainty and doubt that our politicians are peddling. Just as Eric predicted in his earlier videos, the machine has set about priming public opinion about EU membership. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. 
You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, the Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.